made their trip to Wembley so much last month that they'd love to do it again twice if possible. But first, they've got to beat Bolton in tomorrow's quarter-final. In the Potteries, one man has already put his shirt on Stoke. And if they lose to West Ham on Sunday, then he could well end up with egg on his face. Stoke City fanatic Rob Leggar hasn't been there or done that, but he has got the T-shirt. In fact, Rob is so confident of beating West Ham that he's printed these T-shirts before the Potters have earned their place at Wembley. That Pepsi play for what? Life's all about taking chances. What I say, Stoke take their chance on Sunday. What if you're wrong? If you're wrong, you're wrong. I got to be playing the Potters. <laughs> Stanley played at Wembley, but there are treasure lots in the pottery, so I popped into Hanley, armed with the very latest in football fashion. To wear or not to wear before Stoke have reached the semis? That is the question. It's premature, yeah. They've got to win the game first, haven't they? What if you get knocked out on Sunday? There's going to be a lot of t-shirts around Stoke on Trent, covered with coats and everybody will want to show off. A lot of charity shops will be very lucky this weekend. <laughs> we will respect West Ham. As it was supposed to, we've got to play to the best of our ability and make sure that we beat them again. That's when you can wear the T-shirt, then, when you're in the semi-final. be nice to, but uh, like I said, we have to get better boots. Probably a wise move, because in three meetings this season, Stoke have drawn once and lost twice against West Ham, for whom Demba Barr is in fine form, having come so close to joining the Potters in January. Rob sold 34 of these potentially premature T-shirts to optimistic fans, and every one of them has been invited to leave him with egg on his face if Wembley fails to materialise on Sunday. Should be a cracking game.